season started off well. Had a fairly good starting position. I was quick, I was coming through the pack. I had the accident about 100, 120 mile an hour into the back of this stationary car. At first I wasn't sure how bad my injuries were, so because the adrenaline's going, I felt fine. When I was put into an induced coma, I didn't know what was what was going to happen if I'd broken my legs, if I'd sustained worse damage or, or what, I didn't know. My mum and dad and everyone, um, the doctors had to break their nose to them first when I was still in a coma that that's what was going to be best for me, um, to have the operation, to have my legs amputated. I had loads of friends and families um, up at the hospital with me and um, obviously my, my engineers, my mechanics all from the team came and, um, came and spoke to me all the time. And that was a kind of moment for me where racing sort of started coming back in, into my mind because you see all these messages of support but you, ne you don't really think about going racing again, that's not really on your mind, it's kind of, it just gave me something to put my attention to in terms of, oh right, well maybe I could race again. The impression that a lot of people gave to me was, well, maybe you should take it easy first year back and, and race something that you know you're capable of driving. But for me, if I was going to come, come back to racing, it was going to be a series where I was racing against drivers that I raced against before, so I could really put myself to the test. The actual moment we got confirmation from the FIA that I'd passed all their sort of criteria to, to race again was sort of say December time last year. I needed to make sure I was going to be competitive and stuff like that so testing was going to be probably the most important thing of the whole process. We'd got the controls in the car from all the work we did on the sim. I was happy with how they felt sitting in the car in the factory and using them on the simulator. But in terms of actually driving the car in real life at full speed, I hadn't done that yet. The first few tests went well. We had to change a few things with the, with the controls that I wasn't quite happy with. I had to learn the car as well because the F3 car is a step up from the F4 car. It's got more power, more downforce, it's just a quicker car in general. So I was driving the fastest car I'd ever driven with a complete new set of controls. That for me was probably the time where I really dedicated myself the most. I didn't set myself any goals going into the first round at Alton Park, but I, I knew we were going to be capable of, of being quick. I think I qualified P5 for the first, first race, which is obviously more than I could have asked for. I didn't want to come back to racing and just be at the back, not really competing against these guys. I wanted to really put it to them and show them, show them what could be done. Race one, we managed to, to finish third, get on the podium. The whole highlight of the process was um, was that moment. Billy, congratulations, welcome to F3. <laughs> wow, what a way to start. If you told me this before, at the end of last year when I had my accident, I, I wouldn't have believed you, so now to be here now, it's incredible. I, I really wanted to come back with a bang and kind of show people straight away that I wasn't there to make up the numbers and to be another car on the grid. I wanted to, to fight for great results and to get a great result first race. Kind of really helped me kind of push that across to all the other drivers that I was, I was there to, to do the business. On his return to racing, Billy Wonder. Yeah.